So tell us a little bit about what is the branded content then? I think I glanced at your website and I saw a little bit about you guys are marketing, I think like your own uh, MasterCard and you've got these other little pieces of the program that come together. It, talk about that a little bit for us and maybe enlighten me, I should say. Sure. Um, so we own and operate over 21 different resorts. Um, and then when you look, we, we operate more than half of the Las Vegas Strip. Um, we have hundreds of food and beverage venues. We're actually the largest food and beverage non-branded chain um, in the world, uh, or non-chain, excuse me, um, restaurant portfolio in the world. So we, we are extensive. So when you think about you know, where we are today in terms of, again, how you're engaging your customers, and more importantly, how you're creating that first you know, that, that direct connection on right. that quest for first party data, which we're all on that journey, you know, towards a cookie list world. And so how are we creating those deeper connections? For us, um, it really starts with branded content. Um, I think for a couple of years there, we really took for granted the fact that we offer all these incredible experiences. And so we don't need to go out and promote them, right? Like we all know, we can we all know or can imagine what it feels like to stand in the lobby of Bellagio. The smells, mm -hmm. the feelings, the emotions. And so I think we took that for granted. And so now we're we've really overhauled how we develop content and specifically how we develop deeply branded and emotional and energetic content for each one of our brands. Bellagio feels different than Aria. Aria feels very different than New York, New York. And we also know that there are subsets of customers that really deeply care about those individual brands. So no more just kind of resting on our laurels. Now it's like creating that hyper emotional branded content that's going to connect with you in a really emotional way. And that's how you create that direct communication and that direct relationship with the customer. And then hopefully you get them in the funnel and you take it from there and you drive towards, um, you know, booking and conversion. But at the end of the day, like it all starts with your ability to break through the noise of kind of what's happening in the landscape of content today. And we often say here, you know, our competitive set is not Caesars or it's not Sands or Wynn or even Marriott or Hilton. Everyone has discretionary income and time. And our competitive set is anything else that might take up your discretionary income and time. So it could be Netflix or it could be your local bar, right? Like anything that's gonna take your time, like we feel like we're in the mix trying to vie for that. And, and so really starting with, with a new way at which we're looking to create that branded content.